All right, well, we stayed uh, another day, same spot. Um, I did pack up and go up to Walmart for a few hours to charge my stuff at the subway there. Um, just charge my phone and my tablet. Um, my battery takes way too long. I should have asked him if I could plug it in overnight. Just got it when I ran up and grabbed it in the morning, but I didn't. So it's about five o'clock here. We're going to do some pulled pork sandwiches for dinner. Well, Lloyd's pre-cooked, pre-mixed. And I grabbed some dinner rolls. I forgot to grab pickles, but I don't really want to carry around a jar of pickles and waste a bunch. So I'm gonna go pickle this. And uh, yeah, not sponsored by Lloyd's. <laughs> But I felt like grabbing some pulled pork and making some pulled pork sandwiches, some hobo pulled pork sandwiches. I'm going to save some for tomorrow. Maybe I'll make some in the morning before we take off. I don't know. Tomorrow is supposed to be close to 90 again, too. And then it drops because there's a storm coming in. So it's like heat wave, then rain. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a bunch of rain, but there's a little 50% chance. 30 to 50 throughout the day to tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow night. Constantly stir, constantly stir. got done taking a river bath. I've got a system down now where I can get in the river and then get out and clean my legs off and everything. I just kept a one gallon bucket that I was doing my laundry with yesterday and I just use that when I come out. So now I can at least get in the river and cool down. Freya can't though. Well, I guess she could if she wanted to but she hasn't wanted to. But yeah, we've just been stuck in this spot for a few days. And, uh, yeah, it's getting old. I want to be on the move. So it's supposed to cool back down, though, to the 70s for the next four or five days. So that way we can travel. But we got to get through the rain tomorrow. So we might be here one more day and then pack up and leave the next day. I just hope it doesn't rain like crazy because I'm in a spot where it's kind of sandy, sandy leaves, sand and leaves. So it's going to be a muddy, mucky mess on, uh, is it Friday morning, Thursday morning, Thursday or Friday morning. And today's Wednesday, so it'll be Friday morning. Uh, oh well. Part of the adventure. Part of the adventure. And really it is great out here. I mean, even when you get stuck sitting around, man, I've just been chilling, playing music, watching other hobos do shit on YouTube, and swimming, and doing little chores, cleaning stuff, wipe down my air mattress, doesn't help, but I tried. Laundry, and uh, yeah, just like hanging out and just watching the river go by, the trains go by, watching the trees, a few possums that run around here at night, I gotta keep Freya from going after them. Now, post up a roll. Where's my knife? Here's my knife. Make sure. Okay, good. I'm just wearing a, a sarong, which is just like pretty much a towel wrap. 
and I don't have nothing on underneath it. So I got to make sure my junk don't end up on, end up in the video. No, the spot I picked, there's just been two people that walked by earlier. Um, a girl named Chauncey and uh, her friend Jeff. I think his name was Jeff. And uh, yeah, Chauncey actually came out and hung out with me a couple nights ago and brought me some little treats and stuff like that. It was awesome. <clears throat> a little herbal donation. And uh, yeah, came out and hung out. She's like in her mid-20s, 26 or so. And she's uh, very interested in people who do this and wanted to come out and hang out and just talk and we just sat around and told hobo stories and kind of gave her an idea of what it's like out here it's not for everybody I'll tell you that much But it's for some of us. But yeah, that was nice. Shout out to Chauncey. Oh, forgot to toast the bread. Oh, oh well. And here comes Freya. She can smell it. Oh, can you smell it? Oh, you're covered in stuff, dude. You got stuff everywhere. Oh, it's all going in my food. I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Right above my food. Oh well. Yep, Freya makes an appearance. And yeah, we're uh, just chilling. I got to like 92 today. It's supposed to be like 92 right now. But we're going to make a move today but there's no way we walked up pack, full packed all my gear on everything up to the Walmart which is about 10-15 minute walk from here and it was just pouring sweat by the time I got to the Walmart on the way back to the spot pouring sweat Freya just miserably hot so yeah we didn't uh, go anywhere Didn't go anywhere. But this spot I picked, the camp out, has been absolutely quiet. Nobody comes back here. I mean, from the front entrance, it's probably a good quarter mile, if not. Yeah, probably about a quarter mile from the main thing. And you got to go over falling down trees, under falling down trees. Like big trees too, so no no ATVs or anything can come back here. You gotta walk back here. And nobody comes back here. And I guess all the homeless used to be over here by the railroad tracks on the other side of all these trees. They've all been ran out. And there's nobody back there. Just trash, which sucks. But it's just nothing but a lot of trash back there. But nobody back there. So I've had this whole area to myself. The only... Uh, homeless that I know of are across the river on the other side of this park which is another park and yeah they're over there they get loud they're arguing today for a while two guys and yeah but they quite it's not all night but it seems like they're all over there and I have this whole side to myself nobody here I mean, I could definitely get away with just being in my birthday suit probably all day. Well, yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm near near in it. That's another awesome thing. Just being in nature naked, it's awesome. How often do you get to do that? Or you're just out in the open besides being in a bedroom or a bathroom or your house 
but being outside and I don't know, something about it. It's pretty nice. I'm not a nudist or anything. Don't feel like I need to walk around naked everywhere, but something absolutely uh, liberating about being out in nature naked. Skinny dipping. I always like skinny dipping. Little Freya waiting for a bite. Ow, ow. I got the perfect bite for you. Drool lots. There's a big piece of pork in there, but you didn't even chew it. You just kind of mush it up enough to swallow it. I'd be dead if I did that. And you can't do CPR on me. All you would do is just worry about me and then I'd go and then you'd probably lay there on top of me till somebody found me. Or eat me. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. That was good. Let's, let's toast one this time. Let's 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 toast the sun. Some bread. Um, I need me a stick. These are on my stick, bro. Can I have that stick? Thank you. Flip it around this way. A little dirt don't hurt. Let's toast. Let's toast. I need two sticks. Mm. This one's kind of short. Oh. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Drop a piece of bread right in the dirt. I'm not eating this dirt that I've been walking all over. Give me that stick right there for you. Yeah, get closer to me. There. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch my beard on fire. Do it when I catch my beard on fire. I can't even see this anymore. I almost did it again. Ow. No longer sticks. Okay, this ain't working. Never mind. I'm not toasting bread. Not working. I need a different setup for toasting bread. Man. I'm going to have to make some more. Well, that would be enough for two sandwiches, but kind of is, but not really, but I'm kind of hungry. This is the first time I've eaten today. I didn't get anything at the subway. The guys just let me charge my stuff. They just let me charge my stuff and hang out. <clears throat> but it's been, also been a very nice uh, few days off. Because I got something going on with my right growing, growing, growing. It's just stupid. My right growing, something going on. It aches and hurts, and I try to stretch as much as possible, but it doesn't really help. So, yeah, taking these four days off has been nice. I was turning it into a 15 minute video thing. I have to make sure I'm plugged in somewhere to upload this. Damn. Internet's been horrible here to upload. All right, well, yeah, we've been healing up, bathed up, sitting out this heat wave, get through the rain tomorrow, and then we'll get out of here before the weekend. And I hate leaving a town and the city before a weekend because that's the time I can go busk somewhere and make some money. So, uh, decisions, decisions. Later, guys.
See you later, Brett. See you, bye.